Recently, I was interviewed by a journalist who wanted to experience what it's like to go through a daily planning process. In other words, getting ready for the next day by creating a plan. There were a lot of interesting questions asked, but one of the more interesting ones was, what exactly goes on a to-do list? And at first I didn't quite understand the question, but when she clarified, oh, I got it. So the gist is that some people want to list every single action they want to take for the day. So that way they have more to cross off and feel more successful. So an example she gave was, all right, so if I know I need to wake up, I need to do some morning stretches, I need to have breakfast, brush my teeth, jump in the shower. Do I need to put all those on my to-do list? Well, if it's not going to take you very long to write all of that down, sure, that'd be great if it's going to make you feel better. But if you find that you're spending a whole lot of time creating these to-do lists, maybe you need to look at condensing your actions. So in other words, that example that I just gave to you, can you condense all of that into one action item on your list? That's called something like morning routine because you do those same actions every single day. It's not like you would need to list it out every single day. But if there's something that you only do a couple of times a week, maybe you do need to say run the dishwasher, then maybe that is an item that goes on your to-do list. So as far as the level of detail goes, I think it boils down to how often do you do that? If it's a daily routine, does it really need to go on your to-do list? I would recommend that your focus is making sure that you have time allotted in order to complete the most high priority items on your to-do list. That would be my focus as far as what goes on it. Making sure that if you only have, let's switch to a work example, if you only have say one hour of work time in between all of the different meetings that you have during the day, my focus on your to-do list would be what is the highest priority item that I need to work on for that one hour versus trying to see how many items of um, minute actions I can get on my list in order to feel successful. So there are various ways to take a look at your to-do list. The key is that number one, you actually sit down and plan this uh, plan for the next day, your, your to-do list. And number two, you make sure that you are creating a realistic one in that you look to see how much time you have to actually do the work or do those personal tasks and then decide what tasks need to be done based on priority and how much time you have. So there you go. That's what can go on your to-do list.